problem number 19. Uh, this is actually a pretty challenging problem. Maybe there's some shortcut that I uh, ended up missing or, or forgetting, but uh, this one requires a good bit more legwork than the other one, so let's dive into it. It says Juan has been told to write a quadratic equation where the sum of the roots is equal to negative 3 and the product of the roots is equal to negative 9. Which equation meets these requirements? Okay, now usually when they give you something like this, you would, you would look at, say, like number 4, where the roots uh, for choice number 4 are x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 9. And I see that the sum of these numbers is negative 3 plus negative 9. The sum is negative 12. Therefore, you know, that's not an option because the sum has to equal negative 3 and the, the product has to equal negative 9. So we, we did not get the, the sum to be what we want, right? Okay, so then we take uh, something like equation number 2 and we would factor it. Okay, and we'd have an x here and an x here and two numbers that multiply to 27 or 27 and 1, but they have to add to negative 12, so 9 and 3. And if they're going to multiply to be a positive number, then both of these have to be positive or both have to be negative. But they're both negative because negative 9x and negative 3x give us negative 12x. So the roots here are x equals positive 3, x equals positive 9. And we see that the sum of these, 9 and 3, is 12. But the sum has to be negative 3. So both of these two are not options. Okay, now we have these other two equations which do not factor as easily, all right? And we're still looking for the sum to be negative 3 and the product to be negative 9. So I'm going to go straight for uh, what the answer is to, to make this video as short and painless as possible. And after you see this process, you can, you can apply it to number 1 and satisfy, hopefully, your, your mathematical curiosity that it does not work for number 1. So the answer here is number 3. And I, I do hope that you continue watching past this point because uh, other than, than guessing, there's really no other way to do this that I can think of. Um, so here we go. We want to apply the quadratic equation to this. And the quadratic equation says... Uh, you know, x is equal to square root, oops, I completely did that wrong, there we go, x is equal to minus b plus minus, plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all under the square root, divided by 2a. Okay, and in this case, a is equal to 2, equal to 2 b is equal to 6, and c is equal to negative 18. Okay, so we plug that into the formula, and we'll go over here, and we get x is equal to negative 6 plus minus the square root, and then I'll just leave that there, and we get 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 18. Okay, we're just plugging it into the quadratic formula. All of this is divided by 2 times 2. Okay, and I won't go through all the excruciating details of, of filling out the quadratic equation, but basically we end up with uh, negative 6 plus minus the square root of 180. And that is all over 4. Okay, we can reduce the square root of 180 by noticing that this is uh, 9 times 4 times 5. In other words, x equals, and we'll simplify the fraction, negative 3 halves, plus minus 3 halves times square root of 5. Okay? So that's that's what we have when we apply the square when we apply the quadratic formula to this. Now, the plus and the minus mean we actually have two values of x. So if we add negative three halves plus three halves square root five, and then we add that minus three halves minus uh, three over two square root five, we end up with um, well, I'll just do it negative three halves plus three halves square root five. And then we add to that 
negative 3 halves minus 3 halves square root 5. Okay, the negative 3 halves and negative 3 halves, we end up with negative 6 over 2, and the plus and the minus cancel out. This is, of course, negative 3, which is our uh, desired answer. When we multiply these things, so we're now going to multiply negative 3 halves plus 3 halves times square root 5. We're going to multiply this now times negative 3 halves minus 3 halves square root 5. Okay, and then we do some FOIL on this, keeping in mind that the 3 halves times square root 5 is one term. We end up with, that's going to be positive 9 over 4. Uh, this term and this term will cancel each other out, so I won't even bother writing them down. And then the last term, and I'll do it in a different color here, the plus 3 halves square root uh, 5 and the minus 3 halves square root 5 multiply to give us minus 9 over 4 times square root 5 times square root 5 is 5 over 1. Okay, and this is equal to 9 over 4 minus 45 over 4. This is exactly negative 36 over 4, which lo and behold is negative 9. Whew. Okay, so the sum of the roots up here is negative 3. The product, okay, the product of the roots over here is negative 9, and that's the desired answer. Um, I'm sure there's a shortcut to this. If I find the shortcut, uh, I will post it because I think it would end up saving us all a lot of time.